the engines on the island of Sordor all look forward to Halloween. They love watching Sir Topham Hatt's fireworks. Kids dressing up in their Halloween costumes. And the Halloween treats. The engines would also take time to listen to Timothy's spooky stories. And every year on Halloween, the ghost engine would return looking for the lost whistle. Wait, you mean you're not the only ghost engine on Sodor? Oh, I didn't say I was the only ghost engine on Sodor, Thomas. All I'm saying is just there could be more than one ghost this year. Oh, no. But just then, Miss Lady Hat appeared on the turntable. She paid a visit to the other engines. Happy Halloween, everyone. Why, Miss Lady Hat, what brings you here this fine Halloween evening? Well, I just come to let three specific engines know that Sir Topham Hat has a special job for them. Well, before you do, Miss Lady Hat, if you don't mind me asking, why is it that you're here and not Sir Topham Hat? I only asked just because he's the controller of our railway. I didn't mean any offense. Not at all, Henry. I'm only here for your controller because, well, I'm sure that you already know what he's like on Halloween. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so good. Uh, Sir Topham Hat, sir, I know you're having a good time and all, but don't you think you had enough Butterfingers for one night? Oh, yeah. This is why he loves Halloween so much. Well, that's more important is the task for the three engines who I will be calling on now. Thomas, Percy, Duck, the job that you three must complete is heading to the smelter's yard and collecting some scrap tonight. On Halloween? Don't worry, Percy. You three will make it in time for the fireworks. Now, with that being said, I must go and find my husband. Oh, I don't want to go out to the smelters, especially on this night. Why? Is it because missing the fireworks isn't the only worry on your mind? What do you mean? Percy, let's be real. You're not actually afraid of missing the fireworks tonight. You're a scaredy engine. I am not. R2, your boiler is so cold it feels like ice. How can you tell? You don't know. Heh, <laughs> now you're too embarrassed to even admit you're a scaredy engine. All right, Thomas. That's enough. Oh, come on, Duck. Where's your sense of humor? Let's just go already, says the scaredy engine. I'm not. But meanwhile, at the smelters, Percy was very, very scared. It was because for the whole time, he couldn't stop thinking about Timothy's spooky story. When Thomas saw that Percy was scared, he thought it'd be funny to keep on teasing him. Is it a spook? Hey, be quiet. That's just a piece of twisted scrap. Isn't it? <laughs> Thomas was having fun. But despite Thomas thinking it was funny, Percy grew less confident and even more scared. Careful the ghost doesn't get you, Percy! There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh no! You can't forget about Timothy! Percy then remembered that Timothy himself was a ghost engine. Duck felt very sorry for Percy. Don't mind Thomas, Percy. Nobody's brave all the time. But I'm not a scaredy engine. Percy, I didn't say you were. I just said that you're not the only engine who could be afraid. Maybe you're wrong. You have loads of confidence and I don't. So how can you know what it's like to be scared? Well, because I was in your position back on the Great Western Railway. I beg your pardon? Back on the Great Western Railway, I had trouble pulling night trains for both passengers and freight cars. It 
wasn't just because of the windy noises or the shapes that the trees would make. It was mostly because of this wise old owl that would be resting on an old tree branch. The main reason why the owl scared me was because of its eyes. The way that they lit up and glowed in the dark. Not to mention that the eyes would be blinking. A wise old owl with glowing, uh, glowing eyes? That's incredibly scary. Are you sure it was an owl? It sounds to me more like if it was a monster. Oh, indeed it was an owl, but you're not wrong about that creature looking like a monster. I was petrified by fear. I would whistle, scream, and puff as fast as I could to get away from that hideous creature. When I tried explaining myself to the other engines about what I saw, they just laughed and teased me constantly. I was embarrassed and humiliated. I tried facing the wise old owl, but I kept having trouble and couldn't face my fears. 